All right, y'all. I'm finna figure out how to get my tube or my mocha one in this river here. Because there are no boat ramps. And there's plenty of public ground down this. Now, that's private here. And that's refuge you can't hunt. But on down it, there's thousands of acres of public land. Now, you can walk in from it from either side. But like it's a long ways in there. So I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get my... I really like getting my tube in there. Cause I think it'd be easier. Because I think I can put it on my foil with my motor on the front. I may have to make two trips. But I can get to the river down here on my four-wheeler. The mocha, I don't... That little old trailer, I don't know if I can get it in the... If I could get it in the woods, it would follow me down through there. But it's, it's, I barely can get my four-wheeler through there. There's a couple places. I about know that trailer can't... I can't get it in there. But I'm going to go get my Saturn, my tube boat, I'm calling it. It's got a hole in it. Let's see if I can get it patched. But the next couple of days, I want to get it in there in the morning. And I want to hunt that. we got another major front coming. You know, a lot of times I look at, try doing something different. Think outside the box. Because ain't nobody putting it in this river. The lake's low on the lower end at the boat ramps. So you can't get back up it. So the only, only people that are hunting it are walking in. And like I said, there's a lot of ground. There's probably a, heck, I don't know, four to eight mile strip up through there that you can hunt. That's a lot of ground. And a lot of good bucks always come off of it. Like I said, I've hunted it, but I've never, I've never put a boat in it and hunted it. I've always wanted to. But it's almost impossible to get a aluminum boat in here. You know, you can drag it off down in here, but it's just, you can't do it by yourself. But I'm gonna see if I can get all my stuff rigged up and, where I can be in there in the morning. All right, I'm finna go hunting, y'all. Been waiting on the weather. It's rained all, probably from one o'clock this morning on. It's about 9.30 now. I got my stuff loaded up. I got my boat. I got my motor, my sled stuff. I'm going to a place. I went down there yesterday, looked at the river. The river was up high enough and it rained last night enough. To, it's gonna hold it up for a few days. Three things that I like to really hunt, the weather, the moon, and the rut. All three are going on right now. You know, mainly gonna get in there, it's gonna take me a while. I already probably get down in there to where I wanna go. Uh, put the boat in where I can go up and down the river. It's just gonna give me access to bunches of public land that you can get to it, but you gotta walk a long way to get in there to it. And with the water like this, you gotta have waders to get in behind it. So that's one reason I bought this little I blow up boat. Because I think I can go in with one trip. Because I can get a four-wheeler to the river. But you can't get a boat trailer in there to it. And like I said, it's core ground. Got to wear a helmet when I get there. But I'm loaded up. And I'm going to get in there. And I'm going to hunt this scene all day tomorrow. And uh, let's see if we can kill a buck. I want to kill a three-and-a-half-year-old buck and older. You know, I wanna, this is where I want to show you. Put out a little effort. You can get away from people. Because I about guarantee you I'm not going to see nobody. Uh, definitely not with a boat. Because the only way you can get in is way down the river. At the lake. But it's not high enough at the closest boat ramp. You know, it's, it'd have to come 15 miles to come back up this thing to, to get in. Uh, now, you can ride a four-wheeler in, in a spot or two. But uh, let's get her stuff here. Let's go. My dog, she wanting to go bad, but she, she can't go on this trip because it's, like I said, uh, I'm just going to try slipping hunting on the ground, get in there, and let's, let's see what we can find. Like I said, I've hunted. I've walked in it, but I've never hunted this way before. I've you know, walked in a couple of different spots, but this is going to give me access to a lot of public ground. So let's, let's hit the road and go. Make her stay here. She's gonna pout at me. You know, I got three girls. <laughs> this is a girl dog. It's something about females. They don't get their way. They like to pout. And I guess males do too. But but you can't go see us. No, look at her. She opened that door, she jumped right in. So I hate to leave her a lot of times, but this is not a trip she can go on. You gotta stay. Stay. Back up. Back, back. You gotta stay. You know you don't want to, do you? All right, we'll see. Like I said, this is not uh, probably three or four miles from my house or where I'm going to take the four-wheeler and, and get into the river. So let's just get down there because the weather's been broke. The rain's out here. Well, I was wrong. It's, it's 1030. But that still give me plenty of time because move time was like 11 to 1. And then the major time this evening is going to be real good. So. 
it's a very good day. So let's see what happens. All right, y'all, I got my stuff packed up here. I got the little old boy with a loaded down. Got my motor and everything on the skid. Hopefully it'll ride. Got everything settled in. Just gonna take my time to get in here. But like I said, I'm right off the highway right here. I'm just gonna ease around the edge of this field and get to the river about a mile and a half from here. get in here so let's unload everything and start blowing a boat up hopefully I made it with a motor and everything I got it put together, and I'm gonna slide it off this bank right here. And getting back out is gonna be a little bit harder, but I think I might find an easier spot on down. It's not so steep. Well, one thing about these floats sticking way back, you ain't gotta worry about sinking them, filling it full of water. I can get it started without it turning over left and right. I'll just slide off down in there and then catch it. Get all my stuff and go down the river here a little bit and see what I see. I thought I'd hear some dogs, but I don't think I hadn't heard none yet. But I really want to go on down the river a little bit, look around. I think it's deep enough. It looks like it's sort of shallow right down it, but surely I'll find a way around it. So let's ease it off down in here and get my stuff in it. Next time you see me, I'm going to be going down river. All right, y'all. This is about that game. That's why a lot of folks don't do this. My gas line was done dry rotted it and it broke. Like I said, heck, it ain't been a month since I run it. Uh, got in the creek in the river here. It was a shallow. Had my wheels down. I about never got them up. I finally got them both up and got one of them off. I turned my camera on. Been doing all that uh, time lapse. My battery was dead. So I got a new battery in. I'm finna, finna ease on down the river now. I think I'm ready to go. This thing, I hate getting this dang mud gets all over everything. It's gone. Um, that's why I had it stuck back here, trying to keep it halfway clean. But that's one thing about a bolt action. It, is, it will shoot dirty. So, all right, let me push my stuff on here and let's get going here.
All right, I found a place back in here. I killed a deer in here, 10 point. Crap, I don't know how many years ago. It's been several years ago. Uh, but I had to walk way and go around Sleuth getting into it, where it's not 100 yards. Right out there, too, where I shot that deer. So I really want to go in there and look. So there used to be several scrapes along the river here, around some old hedge bushes. So I'm thinking about coming in for a boat. It's not near as far. Uh, like I said, it's been hard enough getting that boat in here. Now I gotta get up this bank because it's something that is slick, slick, slick. So let me put the camera down, see if I can get my tail up that bank here. All these scrapes are back in here again. Like I said, it just quit right in this morning. They ain't been back to them, but they, they got them whooped out. what it is. River's out here. There's a big old slough out here. You can see water, I think. I don't know if you can see it or not. It just makes a big island right in here. I think I'm bugs like running them doors in here because they got them surrounded by water. Because that not kill us with a doe. They walk out here, there's another hedge. Because I believe I shot that deer right out of here somewhere. Because I was, I was in a tree on the levee there when I shot him. Oh, like I said, it's been several years ago. Um, see these honeysuckle all in here coming up on on these soft woods leaves or leaves. This honeysuckle come up. Like I said, I don't know really where they're staying at though. down the river a little bit further. It's basically right where they quit dredging it. But one thing about it, I always mark it when I get out a lot of times, because I get make a big round. So especially if it gets dark, it can be hard to find a boat. So, got it tied off good. I'm gonna go up the bank here and just do a little slip on. Wind's picking up. I'm hoping I just catch one on slipping around. Let's see what we can do. Bends in it. Got down here right where they quit dredging it. I really want to see where these deer cross in the river. I, tomorrow I can get back down here and just sit the river. Oh, like I said, they've been a couple cross right here. But I'm going to go down a little bit further because it seems like where these sandbars come out like right here. They like to come out down it and cross there. Well, it makes sense easier. You just get up the bank. So let's ease on up just a little bit farther. Ease on down the river. <clears throat> I 
I got out and come on down this river. Got where it's a little bit thicker, not as much timber. I found a little horseshoe bend. <clears throat> and I got out looking. Lay some buck sign in here. I don't know how old it is. It may have been in here back a month or so ago. Just seen it, but I'm gonna leave it in here. Come back hunt it in the morning. I'll see how long it will take me to get all the way back to the pickup and how far it is. Alright, I made it back to the truck. It is 617. Took me an hour to get out of there. And it's basically 11,212 yards. I can't really do the math. That's probably about eight, seven, eight miles, I guess. I know 1760 is a mile at the bite it. Oh, all right, so we'll get back in there in the morning. All right, next morning I made it back. I just made it back. The sun about to beat me up. You see the sun trying to come up. So let's get up here and get climbed in this tree right quick. Maybe days and days. That was a cold boat ride. It was 23 degrees this morning, so let's get my stuff and get up a tree right quick. Alright, I finally got set up in the tree. Good steel this morning, too. Pretty good wind and blowing back that way. Maybe it holds. Let's see what happens. Let's see what today holds. Let's see what time day holds. some dogs running just like I just jumped right in there they cross the river from me though Yeah, 
this way. He's going to be coming with the wind of his butt. And that's not likely. He's probably going to come from over there. Or over here. And the wind's messing one way up. So I'm going to get out and do a little scout and just slip on. It's a good day. Deer will be on the feet. So I think I feel good about this spot. I just don't know I like the wind. That pack of dogs jumped over here. They went east. You can tell they went, sucked their nose and went, went to the wind. So let's get out. Heck, I got down. seen where one had crossed. A couple more tracks had been off the bank since it rained yesterday. We'll come around here now. There's a pack of dogs, two dogs, on that side of the bank. You can tell they want to cross. Must have been a deer cross right there. They don't want to get, they don't want to get wet. <laughs> Come back up the same bank that I, I put it in at. I don't know if you can tell, but that water's starting to drop. I hit a shallow spot right there when I come back up, so. Yeah. I, like I said, I knew it was good weather. I really want to get down here and try it, you know. I don't know if I'd do that again. It's much work it was to get that boat in out of there. Now, it was nice after I hit it, got it in the water, but, you know, if I leave it in here down in the morning, the water be down. I can't get back up this far up the river. So, and I don't know how much further I get full water down there to get to it. So that's why I knew I better get out. You know, if it was high and more rain coming, it'd probably be worth it. But I don't know if I'd do that venture again. But hey, don't know to you try. You know, I got down in there where it's easy to get to some places. The hard work was getting the boat in now. So, let me get my stuff packed up here. That's why I'm picking my trash up. I'm drinking. Bring a bag with me. I always pick your trash up, y'all, because there's plenty of, plenty of garbage in these rivers. Anything most folks throw down, it comes down the creek, ends up in the back of these lakes. So, hey, hope you liked it. Something different. Didn't, didn't, didn't have much opportunity on, on a deer. Just had that little old spike come swimming the river pretty sharp. and I doing a little in, but that's hunting. That's hunting. So, hey, any of y'all ever done a venture like that that didn't pan out, but, you know, it could have. And sometimes, you know, you can kill a big deer doing this. So, because I, I knew I wasn't gonna run into nobody. So, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Hey, leave us a comment, and hey, see you next time.